respiration the process of breathing you know that the cells need to burn glucose to get energy for this the cells need oxygen which the blood brings to them where does the blood get oxygen from from the air that we breathe in how do we breathe in the air we breathe it in with our nose the space in the nose is called the nasal cavity do this activity start to take a deep breath breathe in for 5 seconds hold it in for 5 seconds and then breathe out slowly for 5 seconds observe your chest for these 15 seconds what do you see breathe in breathe out when you breathe in your chest expands when you breathe out your chest reduces in size again we know that the air that we are breathing in goes into the chest where in the chest does it go into it goes into the lungs the heart is in the chest too so what are the positions of the heart and the lungs let us check that out the lungs the heart is in front of the lungs the lung on the left is a bit smaller than the one on the right this leaves room for the heart the space in the chest is called the chest cavity the chest cavity has the heart and the lungs inside it the lungs are connected to the nose through a pipe this is the pipe through which the air we breathe in and out flows it is called the wind pipe the wind pipe look carefully at the wind pipe it branches out like a tree into thinner and thinner tubes the tubes are called bronchi so the tubes of the wind pipe are called bronchi the tiniest ones are called bronchioles each bronchiole is as thin as a hair what is at the end of the bronchioles teeny weeny air sacs called alveoli they are like small balloons that fill up with air when we breathe in at the end of the bronchioles are small air sacs called alveoli there are about 60000 of these in our lungs that's where the air we breathe in goes into alveoli is plural the singular is alveolus one alveolus many alveoli the wall of each alveolus is very thin it is covered with capillaries which have thin walls too how thin are the capillaries that cover the alveolus super thin the cells have to form a single line inside the air can pass to and fro through these thin walls what happens when we breathe we breathe in through the nose there are tiny hair like things in the nose that the air passes through the hair warms the air and keeps out the dirt so it's always good to breathe through the nose as we breathe in our lungs get bigger the ribs lift up and out to make place for the lungs to become bigger the air then goes into the windpipe then into the bronchi and bronchioles 
the air enters the 60000 alveoli the alveoli walls are very thin and allow air to pass through oxygen goes into the blood and carbon dioxide goes into the alveoli this is the exchange of gases this is how the blood gets oxygen and ejects carbon dioxide this is how the blood gets oxygenated the lungs now have air that has mostly carbon dioxide this air has to be sent out of the body so we breathe out that is exhale this air and complete a breathing cycle this is how we breathe in and breathe out how do the lungs actually get bigger when we breathe air in can you see a muscle at the base of the lungs supporting them this is called the diaphragm when you breathe in the diaphragm flattens out and makes space for the lungs to grow bigger the ribs also move up and outwards that makes more room for the lungs to expand as well what goes in and what comes out you have learned since you were little that we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide now you even know how and where the actual gas exchange takes place there is an experiment to check whether this actually happens lime water is a liquid that is usually clear this is a chemical solution it is not lemon juice though the name may make you think so and it's absolutely not okay to taste it or drink it it has nothing to do with lemon other than the similar sounding name so lime water has a special property it turns milky when carbon dioxide dissolves in it so take some lime water in a test tube and put a straw in it breathe out into the lime water using the straw after some time you will see that the lime water turns milky this is because the carbon dioxide that we breathe out dissolves in the lime water so with this experiment we verified that the air that we exhale does contain carbon dioxide you know that our body takes the oxygen from the air that we inhale and adds carbon dioxide to the air that we exhale does it take all of the oxygen out nope you know that the air that we breathe in contains roughly 21% oxygen the air that we breathe out contains 16.4% oxygen so the body uses only that much of the oxygen from the air we breathe in in one cycle similarly the air that we breathe in contains 0.04% carbon dioxide what do you think happens to that percentage when we breathe out it increases of course it increases to 4.4% so we don't suck out all the oxygen in the air when we breathe it in also the air that we breathe out is not all carbon dioxide either what did we just learn respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration in aerobic respiration sugar breaks down to form water and carbon dioxide as it releases energy respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration sugar breaks down to form lactic acid as it releases energy anaerobic respiration happens 
when the muscles do not get enough oxygen to make as much energy as they need. The body can perform anaerobic respiration for short periods only. Lactic acid builds up in the muscles which give a burning sensation. The body can do anaerobic respiration for very short periods of time, maybe a maximum time of 3 minutes only. Once the oxygen supply is restored, the cells switch back to aerobic respiration again.